Ambrose Rowdy Gaines IV was born in Winter Haven, Florida on February 17, 1959. His earliest memories are of swimming in the lake next to his house, the humble beginning of a phenomenal career. Although Rowdy did not begin his competitive career in swimming until the age of 17, much later than normal, he was soon discovered to have a natural gift and competitive spirit. After two years of rapid improvement as a high school swimmer, he was offered a scholarship to swim for Auburn University under legendary coach Richard Quick. At Auburn, Rowdy excelled beyond belief. Six-time Southeastern Conference individual champion, eight-time Southeastern Conference relay champion, setting five Southeastern Conference and six Auburn records in the process, three-time NCAA relay champion, five-time NCAA individual champion, and 22-time NCAA All-American. Impressive to say the least, but Rowdy had a bigger dream. A dream to compete on a larger stage, the pinnacle of his sport, the Olympic Games, a dream that would not take place. The year was 1980. Then President Jimmy Carter announced that the United States would boycott the Olympic Games. Rowdy Games, the favorite to win four medals, in perfect physical condition, at the top of his game, was one of over 280 athletes who were not allowed to compete. With his dream broken, Rowdy retired from swimming. But then Ambrose Gaines IV made a decision. A decision to train an additional four years. A decision to try out for the 1984 games to be held in Los Angeles. A decision mocked in the press, with many believing that he was washed up, over the hill, and a long shot. They were wrong. At the dinosauric age of 25, Gaines entered the 1984 Olympic Games, considered by all as the underdog. But on that warm afternoon in Los Angeles, against all odds, as the world watched, history unfolded. Lane number three, the world record holder, Rowdy Gaines of the United States of America. In lane four, the leading qualifier, his country's national record holder, Mark Stockwell of Australia. Lane 5, Mike Heath of the United States. The lanes are determined by the finishing time in the heats. The middle lanes are considered the best. Rowdy Gaines is in lane 3. Mark Stockwell of Australia, wearing the yellow cap, swims the choice lane, lane 4. start is quickest of all the swimmers. A low trajectory straight into the water. However, to some, it appears he beat the gun. Rowdy Gaines, third from the top leads. Stockwell in lane four trails. In lane six, Swedish champion Per Johansson stays with the leaders. As they approach the halfway point at 50 meters, Rowdy Gaines is in the lead. I remember flipping at the wall and I could feel I was in the lead. But in 100 free, you can't look. You look, you get beat. So I, I wasn't looking, but I could feel the presence of the rest of the swimmers and I could feel like I was in the lead. Gaines, third from the top, still leads. Stockwell, alongside him in lane four, trails by two feet. With 10 meters to go, Rowdy Gaines, closest to the camera, still leads. Rowdy Gaines does not know he has won. I was thinking to myself, I don't want to turn around. I don't want to turn around. I was slowly turn around. And when I looked up at the clock, I still didn't want to look at my name. 
Rowdy Gaines, the United States first. Mark Stockwell of Australia wearing the yellow cap second. Per Johansson, Sweden, third. Rowdy went on to win a total of three Olympic gold medals, setting two world records in the process, living out his dream on the sport's greatest stage. Now 47, Rowdy has been inducted into the Halls of Fame in both Florida and Alabama, the International Swimming Hall of Fame, and in 2005, the Olympic Hall of Fame. For many years, he's been affiliated with the Children's Miracle Network, Health South, Disney, Ray-Ban, Speedo, John Hancock, Mutual of Omaha, and American Express. Often referred to as swimming's greatest ambassador, the executive director of USA Swimming said it this way, Rowdy Gaines is a world-class human being. We could not ask for a better role model for our youth, a better all-American hero for our sport, and a better friend and colleague. Rowdy Gaines, true Olympic hero and American icon. A man who had a dream and persevered until he reached it.